This is Firebase Studio, Google's VS Code fork and cursor and bulk competitor with some super cool features, letting you build an end-to-end -end product. Google has been really cooking lately with the release of the Gemini models, so let's see the experience of building an application. Starting out on the welcome screen here, you can see it has a really nice and polished UI. It doesn't actually have that same Google look and feel that some of that other products have, like AI Studio. You can see here we can prototype an app with AI by providing a prompt, or we can jump straight to the editor with a new workspace, import a Git repo, or choose from some of our template projects here like Go, Python, Next.js, Astro, and a load more. I'm going to give this a prompt to create me an app that helps plan my day. It should use AI to take in a task that I need it to complete and break this down into smaller tasks. I want it to be a modern design, use Shadzi end components, and also use dark mode. Let's hit prototype with AI. Now, obviously, since this is Google, this should be using Gemini 2.5 Pro under the hood, so it should be really good at coding, and it should also be quite fast. You can see at first, we open up this chat window where it's actually creating a blueprint for my application. So we can go ahead and confirm that we actually want these features or add in more features before it starts building out the code. If I scroll up here, you can see it has that task decomposition that I asked for, has this icon here to indicate that this is an AI feature, it has deadline management, which I didn't actually ask for. And again, that's gonna be using AI. I have seen this in a few of the prompts that I've done. It loves to shove AI into anything. And that's because it's really well integrated with Gemini. Even if my prompt doesn't include an AI feature, it will find a way to put AI into my application, which is just quite funny to see. They really want you to be using that products. Now you can see it also provides you with style guidelines here, so color, layout, iconography, and animation. Now we could obviously describe some of the changes that we want to make down here to this plan, but I'm gonna go ahead and click prototype this app and see it build out my application. So it's created a markdown file there with the style guidelines from that plan that we saw. And you see it's just absolutely powering through the code there with Gemini 2.5 Pro. It's making those file changes. And after about 10 seconds there, it's now on a step where it's checking for errors. So I imagine it's created a few TypeScript errors or linter errors, and it's just checking if it can go ahead and fix them. And after about 30 seconds, you can see it's built out my application here. Now it is asking for a Gemini API key. As I said, this is really well integrated with Gemini. So you can see I can provide it with the key or I can just hit auto generate here and that will create one for me. I'm sure it'll go off to the Google Cloud portal somewhere or AI Studio, generate a project for me and then insert the API key. There we go. That step actually took about 30 seconds to actually create that key and update it in my application. Now let's try this out and enter a task that we want to decompose. I'm going to say subscribe to BetterStack, a task that you should all be doing, and then hit decompose here and see if this works. So it's using the AI, hopefully, to break this down. It's taking a little bit longer there, but it's added in a list of tasks here. Now, this isn't exactly what I wanted. It's a large block of text. I wanted a few checkboxes. Now, we can go ahead and type in the changes that we want to make in this window, but that would definitely be a boring process. Instead, we could click this magic button here to annotate our application. Now, what this actually does is opens it up in Excaladraw. And now I can just draw on this. Maybe I want to add in some padding here. So I'll add in an arrow here, point that to there and say add in padding. I've also gone ahead and tried to draw some checkboxes here and say that the individual tasks should be checkboxes. Now I can hit send drawing there. That essentially just sends it off as a screenshot to Gemini. And hopefully that's going to make the changes that I want. Here we go, after about 30 seconds there, I can now enter a new task. It didn't actually add in any of that padding. If I hit decompose there, it didn't add in the checkboxes either, but it did create an estimate button, which I didn't actually ask for. So it seems like there's a bit of work to be done there. Do remember Firebase Studio is in preview. I'm sure this will all improve. And obviously your mileage is gonna vary with AI in general. Now let's go ahead and see some of the other features of this window. I can click this button up here to inspect an element. So maybe I inspect the card content here and then I can choose how I want to change this. So if I just say add in padding here, hit enter, you can see that it says for element card content and that's been added to my chat window down there. And hopefully that makes the change now. Yep, after about 10 seconds, you can see it finally successfully added that padding. Now, the other really cool feature up here is this link button. You can see I can make this preview public. If I click this, now anyone with this preview URL can see what we're looking at at the moment. What's really cool about that is you can scan the QR code on your phone and you can see how the application that you're building looks like on a phone and how its responsive design works. That is a really nice developer experience enhancement. But what happens when there is a bug that you can't fix with the AI and you know you can actually jump into the code and fix it itself? How do we see the code for this project? Well, for that, we can click this button up here to switch to the code. And that's just going to open up Project IDX, which is now Firebase Studio, which is just a VS Code fork. 
You can see in here, I can jump into the application. Everything should look really familiar to you. And we can also get a Gemini window and the web preview that opens up in this side panel here. So we can now talk to the AI in our code like we would in something like Cursor. Now I'm gonna give this a very basic prompt here to change the text from decompose a task to get started to add a task to get started. And that's just this text on this page here. Now you can see we're using a built-in Gemini model. We can also use things like Gemini 2.5 Pro, Experimental, Flash, and a few other ones. If I hit send on this, we can see the experience of actually making changes with AI in our code editor. You can see it's thinking for a bit here. It's preparing the file change in app.tsx and then page.tsx. You can see it hasn't actually showed us on this screen here what it would do in cursor where it shows you that diff view. We can click update file here and hopefully that does make the change that I want. If I go back to the web version here, hasn't actually changed it yet. Maybe it takes a few seconds there. There you go, you can see it has now updated. So we're finally ready to publish our project. Well, thanks to the fact that this is Firebase, we can go ahead and hit this publish button up here and that will go ahead and deploy it with Firebase app hosting. You can see it will create a project for you, link your cloud billing account and then set up your environment and you're ready to go. You wouldn't even need to look at this code here. You could just do it all in this prototyper mode if you want as well. So you can absolutely vibe code all of your next startups. There you go, that is Firebase Studio. Now do remember this is still in preview, so some of the bugs you might see will probably be fixed in the future. Let me know in the comments if you would use this over something like Bolt, V0, or even Cursor. I can see myself personally replacing V0 and Bolt with this, as I think Google have absolutely been cooking lately with their AI models, so I'm sure they're gonna be adding some really cool stuff to Firebase Studio. I probably won't replace Cursor with this, as I'm not quite ready yet for a cloud-based IDE. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, as I said. While you're down there, subscribe, and as always, see you in the next one.